Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I am Professor Nithin Nithuvai and your biology teacher. So in this lecture, we are particularly going to discuss about this white blood corpuscles that is WBCs. And these WBCs are also called as leukocytes. The word leukocyte derived from two words that is leukos means white and kytos means cell. So these are WBCs are colorless amoeboid nucleated cells. So they are particularly phagocytic in nature. They are uh, defense cells of our body. So you know that this WBC is a point under the chapter circulation. There are two types of circulation we know that. One is open circulation and closed circulation. In our body we have closed circulatory system and this closed circulatory system is first discovered by scientist William Harvey. So in this particular video I am not going to discuss about the whole composition of the blood particularly about this WBCs. We know that the study of blood is called as hematology and when we particularly discuss about the composition of blood so blood is divided into plasma and blood cells so 55% plasma and 45% uh, blood cells. So WBCs, the normal range, the total WBC count in our body, a normal human is 5000 to 9000 per cubic mm, and the average lifespan for WBCs is 3 to 4 days. So these WBCs are generated or formation of WBCs is takes place in the red bone marrow. Uh, in the bone marrow, in the pear patches, in the thymus, okay, these are the various sites where these WBC, WBCs get synthesized and the process of formation of WBC is called leukopoiesis. The process of formation of WBC is called leukopoiesis. So, as we discussed that, uh, as I told earlier that WBCs show amoeboid movement. So, due to this amoeboid movement, they squeeze out of the blood capillaries for the phagocytosis uh, process. So this squeezing out of WBCs out of the capillary is called diapediasis. There is a particular term which is mentioned in the book. Diapediasis. What is diapediasis? Squeezing out of WBCs. Uh, squeezing this WBCs out of the capillaries due to their amoeboid movement. It is called diapediasis. Okay. So the next term which we have to uh, discuss here again the leukocytosis the process of increase in the count of WBC then this normal range is called leukocytosis and decrease in the number of WBCs below this normal range 5000 5, to 9000 per cubic mm is called leukopenia another term which is mentioned here in the book is leukemia that is when this is particular one uh, type of cancer here the uh, WBC is increased about near about 1 lakh okay or more than that 1 lakh per cubic mm so this is looking a very little kind of cancer the last point from this is which is given in the book and I am particularly sticking with the book of the state board that is classification of leukocytes there are two types of WBCs the WBC are classified into two types one is granulocyte another is a granulocyte so granulocyte again divided into neutrophils, eosinophils that is acidophils and basophils. The total neutrophil constituent of WBC is 62%. 62% are neutrophils, then 3% are eosinophils or acidophils. The least is basophils that is 0.5% only. When you particularly discuss about agranulocytes, they are divided into two types. One is lymphocytes and other is monocytes. These lymphocytes constitute about 25 to 33 percent, and these monocytes constitute about 3 percent to 9 percent. Okay, so this is all about which is given. In, this is all about the WBC which is given in the book. I will come with the next point. Uh, uh, till then, stay tuned for my channel, and thank you very much.